Hello and welcome everyone in YouTube Variety Stick and we back again for another unboxing video and today I do have the Alcatel One X Evolve this phone available through Metro by T-Mobile this is a friendly budget device only $39.99 if you are eligible for upgrade through Metro you just have to pay the, the $39 plus tax and upgrade fee and if you are a new customer you can get that one for $39 plus your first month service and if you are a switcher from a different carrier this phone it will be available for free for you so without any further ado let's find out more about the new Alcatel One X Evolve I mean no doubt this phone has the one of the longest names Alcatel One X Evolve it's a very long uh, device name as you guys see and if you guys also see the package it will be normal as what we have seen before in most of Metro by T-Mobile phones even still show Metro by PCS on the phones but the company has changed the name let's go ahead straight to the specification this phone is 4G LTE 5.3 for the display and when you see it's FW VGA plus means this resolution only 1080p so this phone doesn't promise you with a uh, good resolution for the screen we have only 8 megapixel camera for the rear and 5 megapixel for the front only 16 gigabyte internal storage 1.1 gigahertz quad-core processor of course what are gonna be coming in the phone Alcatel the phone the SIM card the charger and the quick start guide so let's go ahead and do unbox like this there you go so we back again and the first thing first you're gonna be able to see is the phone itself it's gonna look good from the back it has this actually uh, blue back over here and the back is not removable and if you ask me about the battery the battery size will be 24 60 milliamp hour battery the phone doesn't have any removable back as you guys can see here some caution from the front you'll see the phone has the new ratio but the bezel is big over here so this is absolutely a budget device so guys do not expect much from phone like this one but the back it just remind me with the one plus the first generation has that sandy feel or it's like a little cliffy feel too it's is into it and i believe this it will be very dust magnet no fingerprint will be shown on the back but i believe dust and stuff like that so i would recommend to get a case to it so and the thing is are you gonna see the charger and we don't have any fast charger just normal charger sim card which is you need to insert inside the phone to act to get the phone active and working the quick start guide and the USB uh, mini USB tab for the charging so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna uh, turn on the phone and let's have a look on the design itself as you guys can see from the bottom it will be the speaker but that's not dual speaker of course there's one speaker and another one for the microphone and if you look to the right side over here you'll be able to see only the sim tray over here so no buttons or whatsoever from this side from the other side it will be the power key and has some textures to it and the volume up and down doesn't have anything so that way easier for you to distinguish and this is actually uh, how the screen is gonna look so we have the camera proximity sensor internal speaker and the flash the camera 8 megapixel this is as you said like a very cheap device and I believe so this phone also should be shipped with the Android 8.0 for you now we're gonna spend some time in the phone and check the main features and give you my opinion a few moments later now after spending a little bit playing in this device uh, be just before I start I want to just pay your attention this phone is a completely budget device this phone is cheap this phone is not expensive so whatever I'm saying about this phone you have to uh, match it with the price you're paying for this phone so you're not gonna get the best experience especially for the display the display once you actually just go for an angle view you barely see nothing I mean the display one of the worst thing uh, I have seen recently even on the budget phones this absolutely piece of junk display in this device other than that the phone has the Android uh, Oreo the phone is very laggy it's very slow doesn't respond to you 
uh, from the first time you do and this phone doesn't have nothing actually I not downloading anything I'm just trying to go through whatever this phone came with whatever the applications but just to be honest with you the way they actually do the icon and their phone has app drawer over here it's nice and big so a lot of people maybe uh, they have vision problem they prefer something like this so that way they can see the icon uh, very well now everything on the phone it's basically a stock as you guys can see so we don't have many features so for instance there is no NFC there is no casting um, nothing really fancy in this phone um, it has only one thing I have noticed has gestures they call it gestures like if you just double tap on the power key that should take you to the camera so the phone will vibrate and then take you to the camera camera we're gonna talk about this camera as well that's another thing we need to talk about two covers but I just want to show you uh, the main uh, look to the phone how the phone is gonna be and there's as any other uh, Android phones has settings and settings just basic you have network you have connected device which is Bluetooth oh the phone has casting I just noticed that this phone has casting so it doesn't have NFC it does have Bluetooth casting and stuff like that uh, okay so which is good notification user Gmail account and this phone also has the Android Oreo 8.1 I as I mentioned before now uh, jumping to the camera itself uh, I have taken some pictures I can show you that one first of all the shot speed or the shutter speed it's very slow so once you take the pictures you have to wait till look how the amount of time you need to wait till you get that to this is actually back to uh, the low processor they're not using a snapdragon processor they use 1.1 gigahertz dual core processor MediaTek I believe the version is uh, uh, 6739 it's gonna be something like that normally like in Alcatel phone it's even hard to find the main specification unless if you download the application to tell you the main uh, chipset and the processor but that's not something uh, fast anyways it's not gonna be the best so I'm not investing money to find out what type of processor or what model or whatever I mean I can tell the phone is very slow and doesn't respond here's the text message application for guys who want to see it just have messages from the carrier see the time just to respond and you have the uh, Google board keyboard so the stock keyboard here's the dial key and let me show you that one and you guys can see the amount of time take actually for the phone to respond now let's go ahead to the camera maybe like I have tested cheap phones before budget phones but I haven't seen like a camera has this crabby quality actually and let me just show you some of the pictures so mainly the application for the camera doesn't have much it has some filters I don't know why you need it for and it's just the pictures I have taken this is the selfie even outdoor guys I mean look to the background basically there is no background around you there is no uh, beauty face you have absolutely nothing also the quality of the display doesn't make it right I mean it doesn't even respond to the finger it's it's very hard to even something deal with let me just just give me one moment I'm sorry let's go ahead back to the camera and I just want to browse these pictures I have taken that's gonna be indoor same thing it's it's very dark even I have the display on the highest uh, brightness and it's very terrible if you guys look to that picture if you guys can see the amount you know what I mean like uh, the light you, my face is almost dark in this uh, quality picture so 5 megapixel and 8 megapixel even that amount of pixel is good the resolution is good but the quality of the camera it's very actually a very bad quality camera now who's gonna get this phone the people they're just seeking for like a cell phone maybe like a kids five years old kids seven years old kids maybe you don't want to invest much money and you want to get them a phone that's gonna be a good option and I believe that's it for that video thank you so much everyone for watching please subscribe for more on variety stick hit the bell to be notified to be the first one watch my videos and also if you have any question about this phone leave it in the comment below I will get back with you See you again in another one.